8.30 now and time for our high beam this morning and we focus in on Holly Flickinger who has joined us from Hospice Browse and Buy. Good morning. Oh, speaking of, uh, we had men without hats, but you've got a good Ohio State hat on. I do, I do. I like Ohio State. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in. That's uh, not quite as cold today and that's good, but uh, that hopefully means also a little bit better conditions for people to get out to the stores, the Hospice Browse and Buy locations. And there are three of them. Yes, there is. There is located, obviously, on Water Street in Yorksville at the old hardware store. And then at the old plaza, which is right down in Dover, Mm -hmm. right down from Giant Eagle, is our Dover one. And then our Carrollton. And it's on uh, North Lisbon, across from the fairgrounds. With the new little addition to it. Yes, our little shop. Yes. It's good to to have extra space and, uh, and extra items. So, uh... Let's talk a little bit. What's uh, what's going on? You always have a special when you come in here. Some There's some special always happening. So what is it this time? Well, right now for the family, we have, you can buy a bottom, a slack, and you can get a top free of equal or lesser value. So basically, you know, you can buy a top and bottom for $4 mm. for an adult and $2 for kids. It's great. So buy a bottom. It's kind of catchy. Remember that. And then yes. you get the top for free. Yes. And we've got a nice selection in all three locations. Good. So well, that's very helpful, too. So how long does that run? That'll run until Saturday the 15th. Okay. So the rest of this week. Yes. And then next week, we go all next week, Monday through Saturday, we go 25% off of pictures and frames. Mm, that's a that's a good item. Especially if you got some new picture things for Christmas and now you, you're looking for frames. Yes, yes, because a lot of people may have gotten, you know, the holiday pictures, Mm -hmm. and then they can come in and and get them, and you you can't get any less expensive than we're going to give it to you. (laughs) Well, that's for sure. (laughs) That's the whole concept, right? uh, All these items are donated to Hospice Browse and Buy, which is a nonprofit organization. Uh, However, we do need to organize ourselves on uh, making those donations because we don't like things to get wasted, and sometimes that happens. Yes, um, we are finding a, a few of the stores, what is happening is, is that people are dropping off when we're not open mm. and they may sit out in the weather. And then, you know, I know that the intentions wasn't there. They wanted to donate, but then it is ruined. Yeah. Yeah. You hate that. Especially, yes. especially, I mean, cold might preserve, but wet ruins wet. almost everything. Now, yes. And especially if you got a bag of clothes. Yeah. So, you know, those all closed and we don't have a dryer. We don't have a washer. So Mm -hmm. that's why we always say, you know, donate clean and sellable. There you go. And and, uh, on a schedule too, uh, when you're open and uh, we're trying to limit the the weight of any given bag, right? Yes. 25 pounds is the the limit on that. And um, and of course, you know, drop offs are during the um, open hours. So they can call the stores and then just ask. You know, and you can find your store numbers either on Facebook. You can also find it on the back of your little courtesy card. Oh. All three locations are located on that. Right. Yeah, and uh, if you go to Facebook, the hours are, are there for the stores, right? Yes, yes, and all our sales, they can like that, and then they, they can get all our sales. We also have an email. If someone doesn't have Facebook, they can sign up in our stores for the email, and then it goes weekly to them, tells them what's going on in their stores. So you would already know by a bottom before you got here because uh, I would have gotten that email. You would have. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, in order to have a store with donated items and uh, an all nonprofit, we need nonprofit workers, volunteers. So how does that work? So a person can come into the stores and they can sign, you know, it's just a, a little short application and they can volunteer anywhere. You know, if they only want to do two hours a week, that's fine. You know, we will take whatever they want to give us and we appreciate it. And then, you know, that involves tagging or sorting and they can sit down if they're unable to you know their their legs are bothering them you know because obviously our volunteers are a little more older usually yeah and usually those people that are volunteers has been touched by hospice mm-hmm. so they were trying to give back so you know it, like i tell people it's a feel good voluntary job you know i say my job's a you know a feel good because i'm able to um help the community you know if somebody's in need we're able to help them and as a volunteer, you don't have to come in and immediately know everything. You will you will get training from you or the store manager and, and work your way into it until you feel comfortable, right? Yes, yes. And, you know, it's a great group of people. 
and they socialize. So, you know, if there's somebody out there that have lost their loved one and they're sitting at home and, you know, this is a good way to get out. And, you know, these other people that, that are working there have lost a loved one also. Mm-hmm. And, and they're wearing the same shoe. So that's that's always good. That's true. So um, I forget where I was going to go with that. But, oh, <laughs> the uh, eventually you take money, not very much, but money for your items. So uh, how is that spent by uh, by hospice, which is, uh, as I mentioned, nonprofit? Yes. Anyone that has depleted any of their resources for payment for hospice care, that is there. it's paid for. They get the same care, the wonderful care, I have to say, mm-hmm. because there isn't anybody out there that's going to say anything about the Tuscarawas County Hospice that, you know, good comments have always been good comments because, you know, their patients are first, their families. You know, they make sure that they are taken care of while they're there. And uh, I know each some of you try to have some sort of a camp even for youth, right? Yes, yes. Um, I am not sure quite much right. about that. But, you know, they could call the bereavement house, the and they would give them some information on that. I noticed when I was outside the last couple of days, it wasn't summer yet. So I, <laughs> I, know, I know. And we're all waiting for it. <laughs> I know you and I are. Well, thanks. Anything else we should know? Uh, what are the Yorksville store hours? Our Yorksville store hours are Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 5. Our Dover location is open from Monday through Saturday, 9 to 5. And our Carrollton location is opened up Monday through Saturday. It would be uh, 10 to 5. And I'm sure regular shoppers will tell you that the uh, inventory turns over a lot and you're never sure what you might find. No, you could you could go to one end of the store and then come back and that, that there's different items because <laughs> they're continuously putting out items. Well, Holly, thanks for coming in. We certainly uh, appreciate the effort that you put into it and the sales too. So, yes, uh, well, thank you for having me and thank you for the donations that the community has given us. Absolutely. How about we talk to you again soon? Yes, next month. All right. That's Holly Flickinger from Hospice Browsing By this morning on the 830 High Beam here on the BT Morning Show.